So tonight I'm happy to be with you to share uh, some of the updates that have happened uh, since I've come on board as the Director of Human Resources and Labor Relations. I have a really super long title, so we have to always remember all the parts to it. Um, as you are well aware, we had an audit uh, last year that was begun and was presented earlier this year uh, with a lot of recommendations uh, for the department. So I wanted to just share with you a little bit of where we're at. And uh, the vision that I have, and I think I've shared this with you before, is that we would really like the city of Sheboygan to be an employer of choice. I think uh, working for the organization is an awesome experience. I think it is a great opportunity for people to be part of their community and to give back. I think this is a, a valiant vision for us to have as a department and as, a, as an organization. So there's two strategic goals that I was uh, considering and looking at as uh, I studied the CLA report and have entered into that position. Um, first is, first of all, we really need to focus on our folks and our people um, and have them perform as a team and to be high functioning and serve the organization as professionals. And that is something that I'm really excited about being able to provide uh, that guidance for the team that exists and that I truly believe that we're moving in the right direction. The second part is that the Human Resources Department should really serve as a, as a strategic and operational partner to all the departments for the city. And uh, there's uh, processes in place so that we can become uh, able to do that. Part of that is regaining the trust of um, my fellow colleagues. So again, looking at the action plan, there's really this two-pronged approach uh, to create and nurture this team that I have, and they're really good people, and they've worked really hard, and we're, we're moving together, um, and we're looking at using the values that the city has. We have awesome values. We have a great mission, and to really use that to embed those behaviors and actions into the into the way that we behave as a team and how we serve our community. I always say that we're the customer service department for the city, and we need to look at that and, and share that, uh, that viewpoint. And then the other piece, and there's a lot of work to the second piece, is to build a strong operational foundation for our department. Uh, as you have looked at that report, um, there are a lot of pieces that we need, not a lot of opportunities to, to work on. Uh, but we are, again, moving in the right direction. So just wanted to share where we're at since, um, since July, actually. So we're looking at team development and having weekly team meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings. We've revised the job purposes. Uh, I sat with each of those folks to each of my team members to look at where we're at. There's a lot of things that are happening within each of these elements. Uh, but here's my July slide, sorry. Um, looking at, we hired a new uh, administrative services clerk too. It was kind of a, a, a merge of a position from the AP accounts payable clerk that had been in the finance department. We really believe that that could be served by a part-time position and then we could have some of that role be uh, serving human resources. So that position came over to the human resources department and we hired Christina Lepto. Uh, she's been a breath of fresh air for the department. She's uh, super engaged. She's got a lot of energy to help with process improvement. That's that's her background. Um, and so then we had uh, Todd Wolf as the new city administrator. He certainly has set goals for us and has put us into action a lot uh, with the things that we're doing. One of the things we did within the first week that he was here is we had a team meeting with, that was about two and a half hours work looking at team building, seeing his vision, his, his opportunity to speak to the team as the administrator rather than as a council member. I think that set a new tone for us, uh, introduced the team to him, and also set a strategy and a vision for how we're going to move ahead. And I think the team itself is very excited about having that sense of direction. So following that, we had one-on-one -on -one meetings, or I did, with, with each of my team members. We reviewed their job purposes. We we're going to make some changes to those, as well as then set some goals. 
that is something that I think is new for them, that they hadn't really had an opportunity to dream a little bit, and I think that's exciting as well. Um, and then as far as looking at the second, if you look at the second part of that action plan, that there's a lot of foundational things and we needed to pick something to start with. So we're looking at process improvement through the payroll system that causes uh, some conflicts once in a while with, with accuracy or timeliness. And that's something that I know that we can affect change on. So we've had a payroll audit done. Uh, we're looking at the payroll change notices. So that's that form that we use to notify payroll when something needs to happen. Um, and looking at our pay grades and, and the, the schedule for that. Um, so there's been a lot of things that have happened. We're still reorganizing the department. There's still some changes yet that will come as far as what roles will happen. We're expanding roles and the team is excited about that. And uh, we're looking at, I did do a presentation for the department heads so that they also know that we're making progress and what that's going to look like. And so I wanted to share this uh, with you as well. Mm -hmm.